today we're going to be doing a post review or post reveal <laughs> of this diamond painting that I did from Oraloa. It's by Rosalina and it's called The Moon Girl. It measures 50 by 75 centimeters and it is licensed to Oraloa. So let your creativity sparkle. And with that, let's take a look at this kit. Zuzu is here. Hello, cat. So here's my little reveal of my finished diamond painting from Oraloa. I will put a link in the description box to the unboxing for this kit. If you guys want to check that out, this kit is going to be available tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. No, yeah, tomorrow, Friday, May, whatever day it is, um, on their website. So if you are interested in this kit, go and grab it. I had a lot of fun working on it. It is a round kit. It has 50 colors and four ABs. You can see the ABs. Let me pick this up. You can see the ABs throughout her hair mostly. And, um... In the moon behind her, there's some purple ABs, if you can see. And then in the bouquet of flowers, that white that you see is all AB. So a little bit of AB is kind of sprinkled everywhere, which is really nice. Let's go down to the bottom. Here you can see the bottom of the canvas, and I'll pan up a little bit. Okay, so... To tell you guys about this, I've worked on Oraloa kits before. I've never had a problem with the drill field. I've never had a problem with the drills or anything like that. Like, I believe these are acrylic round drills. Um, the image itself is very beautiful. Like, I'll put in an image of the actual artwork here. So check that out. And then we can compare it to the actual diamond painting. Let's see if I can do leave some space over here. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison of the image and the diamond painting, the completed diamond painting. I had, again, a lot of fun working on this. Um, it didn't take me very long to do. I think it took me like a week and a half maybe. Um, again, this measures 50 by 75 centimeters. I did spill I did spill some juice on the corner. If you can see, it's kind of discolored. Oops, oops, don't drink juice around your diamond painting. I really like how this turned out, honestly. Like, I think it was a really great rendering. The one thing that I'll say is from far away, like, don't get me wrong, from far away, she looks gorgeous. But when you go up closer to her face, you'll notice that the skin tone, like the... The transition from like around her eyes to her eyes to the circles around her eyes isn't that great. Like I think it's, I definitely think it's true to the artwork because if you looked at the artwork, you can see that like she has those circles around her eyes. Um, but I think the transition could have been softer. Like it, if you look at it up close, it's kind of jarring. Um, and also her hands. <laughs> I don't, okay, hands legit are probably most difficult to draw because their hands and it's kind of like I don't know it seems difficult to draw hands I've tried before but her hands are kind of kind of off a little bit like they they kind of look like skin skin they kind of look like sticks or something like that but again I think from far away, like if you don't pay too much attention, I think it turned out great. I really love like the moon behind her. I love the branch behind her. Um, again, this was 50 colors, so I don't think they skimped on the colors. I think that's a really good amount of colors for this size, which again is 50 by 75 centimeters. Um, the drills, I had no issues with the drills. Uh, it was really, like, the placement was really good. And I really like, I know this is such a small thing, but I really, really like the plastic that uh, covers the, the drill field because it's thick and you can just fold it. You don't even need, I didn't even use a cover minder, to be honest, to hold up the cover, like, while I was working on it. Um, again, like, I think just, like, little things in her skin tone. So you can see, like, around her wrists, it kind of, this dark area, it kind of looks like she's wearing, like, cuffs or something like a cuffed bracelet or something and I think those could have been more gradual instead of like such a big color difference um but I really like the placement of the ABs so again you can look at where the ABs are in her hair I don't think they overdid it because I think a lot of companies have like oh let's put ABs in everything but I don't think they overdid it I think that the ABs highlight the image very nicely and even on this flower over here there's a bees in the flower, which is really cute. Um, and there's also a bees in that flower. 
you can see it. And yeah, I just, I like how this one turned out. Like this isn't going to be a long video, obviously. Um, but yeah, I will put pictures of this. If you'd rather see like photos of the actual canvas, I will put pictures on my Instagram, which is linked in the description box below. So go follow me there. What do you guys think of this? This is going to be available tomorrow, Friday, May something, 26, maybe? <laughs> May 26th. And if you want to use Bev B15, you can get 15% off the purchase. And that's all I have to say about this kit. Honestly, like post reviews, what do I talk about? Uh, did I like it? Did I like working on it? Yes. Do I like working on all Oraloa can canvases? Yes. Um, I am really into squares right now, so I kind of wish this was a square, but it was a nice break from doing all the squares that I've been doing, so I don't mind that it was around. Um, yeah, so 50 colors, four ABs, called Rosalina the Moon Girl, 50 by 75 centimeters, round drills, grab it tomorrow. And if you're new here and want more post reviews, let me know. Maybe I can do more in-depth ones than this one. Um, but make sure you hit the subscribe button. I post new videos whenever I feel like it. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Okay, bye!